All right, so let's start with the big story that we're tracking on Vyond at this hour. India happens to be the second worst affected nation due to the coronavirus. And now the fight against the COVID-19 infection has received a shot in the arm, quite literally. Now, the Indian drug controller has approved two vaccines against coronavirus for emergency use. The Oxford and AstraZeneca's Covishield and also Bharat Biotech's Covaxin are the two that have been given the approval by the Indian regulators against the coronavirus. Listen in. After adequate examination, the CDSCO has decided to accept the recommendations of the expert committee and accordingly vaccines of Messrs. Serum and Bharat Biotech are being approved for restricted use in emergency situation and permission is being granted to Messrs. Cadilla Healthcare for conduct of phase 3 clinical trial in India. So the Drugs Controller General of India, VG Somani, also said that both the drug firms have submitted data on their trial runs and both of them have been granted permission for restricted use. The Nord has now paved the way for a huge immunization campaign that will begin in India. Covaxin has been developed by Bharat Biotech, a company that is based out of Hyderabad, with the backing from the state-run Indian Council of Medical Research. Not much is publicly known about the safety and the efficacy of Covaxin against the coronavirus, but the drug maker has said that it has submitted all of this data to the regulator without putting it out in the public domain. The ongoing third phase of the trials for Covaxin in India began sometime in middle of the November. And the efficacy rate is also not very clear, although the late stage trials involved as many as about 25,800 volunteers, which is said to be the largest number of volunteers in the third phase of any trial in India. Meanwhile, the Serum Institute of India has tied up with Oxford AstraZeneca, to manufacture Covishield in India, India intends to inoculate a staggering 300 million people over the course of the next eight months. And the affordable AstraZeneca vaccine, of course, looks like a big hope. The Serum Institute of India has already produced about 50 million doses of the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, and it plans to scale it up to 100 million doses by the end of March this year. Now, amidst the fears of the new mutant strain of the COVID-19 infection that was first recorded in Britain, AstraZeneca has claimed that its shot will still be effective against this new mutant variant of the coronavirus. The both shall be administered in two doses and are to be stored at a temperature of anywhere from 2 to 8 degrees. After the two vaccines received emergency approval, India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi, of course, was pretty quick to take to Twitter. And he put out this tweet congratulating the scientists and innovators. In a series of tweets, he said it's a decisive turning point in strengthening a spirited fight. DCGI has granted its approval for the vaccines of the Serum Institute of India and Bharat Biotech. And this accelerates the road to a healthier and a COVID-free nation. Congratulations, India. Congratulations to our hardworking scientists and innovators. This was the tweet by the Indian Prime Minister.